Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways Homestead in the Desert. And uh, it's August 29th, 2020. And I took a little break from the same old uh, routine every day and let my butt cheek cool off where my wallet was because it was getting a little hot from all the spending. And uh, anyway, I was went down to Orange County today and there's a fly bugging me. And uh, I picked up the metal that I need to make my um, solar panel rack and stupid flies on my back. All right. So anyway, picked up another solar panel while I was down there. So um, some people wanted to know the information on the solar panels. Well, here it is right here. I'll give you a second to write that down. Or you could always pause the video and uh, give you plenty of time to write this down. So anyway, yeah, I've got the, uh, the end channel caps. I got the hat metal. And uh, this is what I actually fastened the... Uh, panels to. Then over there I've got the electrical struts and those are two by twos. They're really heavy duty and there's some two inch pipe over there which will act as a double. I'm going to make a double post for it and that'll be set into concrete. So it'll be pretty sturdy and uh, the wind, wind shouldn't bother it too much but I also once I get it all together I put uh, guy wires on the four corners of the whole rack so that the, uh, when the wind blows, it it can't grab a hold of the corners and lift up on them. I don't want to crack any panels. But uh, I'm going to be getting to uh, building these. Um, of course, this weekend uh, is almost shot now because uh, a run down to the OC and back again takes up a pretty good section of the day and there was a a sig alert and those of you who don't know what a sig alert is it was named after a, a chp officer uh, named sig uh, he he coined the phrase uh, when the freeway is at a standstill uh, due to some type of a problem now what the problem turned out to be was construction by caltrans and i'd sure like to know who the genius at caltrans was that thought that closing three out of four lanes of a major freeway on a pathway to Vegas out of California on a Saturday was a good idea. I would think that that would be one of those nighttime things where they, they do it through the night when there's no traffic on the road. But uh, well, you never know what's going through their heads. So anyway, um, just wanted to clear that up and let me there's my old fridge uh, anybody need a boat anchor it's gonna turn into it's not a fridge anymore it's a cabinet uh, it's a dry goods cabinet now let me put this uh, information back on the panel so I don't lose it of course the stick that's a copy of the stickers that are on the back of the panel now I've got two of those panels temporarily connected um, to the system and I'm going to go, go over there right now and I'm going to show you what's going on with the system which is the best news I've had in a week. So let me close this door down because uh, apparently I've got a critter in there somewhere who's uh, starting to dig tunnels under everything. So I'm going to have to set a trap in there and get rid of that critter. Otherwise, I'm going to have lots of critters in there. The rodents have a habit of doing that. Okay, so we're going to head on down here to uh, the uh, electric area. And I still got my old batteries sitting out here. Those are going to be cores to turn in. And... Uh, I want to pick up, I got the trailer hooked up right now, I'm going to run into Home Depot and pick up some concrete and cinder block and I'm going to get ready to put 
an eight by eight shed right there in the all in cinder block. So I'll set the cinder first cinder block around the base. That'll be a footing, and then I'll uh, fill that that footing with um, concrete, and that'll be a solid footing. And then in between all of that, I'll pour a concrete slab floor, and this thing will get bolted down to the concrete slab floor, so that. Uh, uh, it'll be secure in there, and then I'll have, of course, I'm going to have doors on it also so that I can lock it up whenever I want to. And uh, that uh, shed will keep the sound from, uh, from going anywhere. It'll be really quiet as it is right now. With this thing running on full force, I can't hear it in the bedroom on the other side of the cabin, so uh, that's a, a good thing. And I noticed the other day when I, I had it running, and I went down to the uh, to the front gate down there, and I was uh, I thought it stalled out, and I kept coming up closer and closer and closer, and it wasn't until I got halfway between the chicken coop and the uh, generator that I heard it, and I go, oh good, it's still running, so it's not that loud. It's a pretty good little unit, and uh, I know that uh, Vicky is going to be interested in that when she comes out because. Uh, she just got a new camper and she needs a generator for it. And now they sell wheel kits for this too, but I didn't want the wheel kit because mine is gonna be fastened in place. It's not gonna be able to move. And I'm gonna run the uh, conduit underground, come up inside of the uh, battery room here, and uh, then I'll be able to just connect straight to the panel and have an AB switch where I go A for solar and B for uh, generator. And uh, whenever you flip it from one way to the other, it cuts the other one off completely so we don't backfeed and blow things up. So that's the plan, and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, what's going on in here? Well, there was, there was up the air was showing that I'm at 12.2. Okay. Now that's what's... That one is connected to the new battery bank. Okay. The wind has been blowing today and producing electricity. But this one up here says 12.3. Okay, and that one's connected to the old battery bank. Hey, 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 hey. Guess what? The old battery bank is coming back to life. So I'll run the, uh, uh, the Viking on it again tomorrow on the repair mode. And uh, I'll do that every day until I get those things back up to par to where they start charging 13 volts during the day. And I saw them almost there today. They were at 12.9 today. So I've seen those things on windy days with full sun. Uh, my charge in here has gotten up to 14.2. Uh, and then the um, dump load kicks on. And I've got some comments. Get rid of solenoids. They're no good. Okay. Everybody's got an opinion. What I did was I took a CPU fan and I hooked it up to the system. So when the solenoid clicks on through these two wires, it activates it. And this fan kit turns on at the same time and blows cold air across that unit and across my controller and cools everything down. So... That's what I did. Now, you know, I, I, I agree the uh, digital systems are much better, but these systems have been in use for a lot of years. And yeah, they will cause a fire if you mount them directly to wood and don't have a, a metal cooling space here. Now remember, when this fan turns on, it doesn't only blow air up through the front here, it blows air through the back of this unit. And there's slots in this metal piece so that air can get to the back sides of this one and this one to cool both of those. So that's all, all that kind of stuff is important. Just like my uh, um, load here, the load gets hot when, it, when it's uh, running and that's why this metal plate is here. There's an air space between it and the wall so that air can flow behind it and the aluminum dissipates heat very quickly so that's stuff you have to do with uh, when you're running systems like this. 
But no more power outages. Everything's running fine. The new refrigerator is quiet as can be, unlike the other one. I guess I probably should have recognized the noises that the other one was making, was telling me, I'm about to burn out on you and short out your battery banks. But uh, um, I didn't recognize that, uh, that voice from the uh, refrigerator because that wasn't the original voice I had on the refrigerator when I bought it. Uh, oh, well, there yeah, are people that hear refrigerators talk, you know, there's something loose upstairs with about that kind of stuff. Anyway, it's a nice, comfortable afternoon out here. Light breeze blowing just enough to turn the uh, turbine but not create any electricity and the fan is uh, i mean the flag is just barely going clickety click 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 and uh i got a little shredding on the top of it because we did have some heavy winds and uh i want to get those panels up get another pad poured out here probably going to end up right here where these hoses are and the hoses will get cleaned up and out of here and uh that'll uh <clears throat> that'll give me three panel groups in a row here and they they all get tied into that um, battery room there so yeah that should work out just fine right all right everybody that's all i have for today i just wanted to catch you up to date um i went in and watered everything in the garden and i went over and watered the mulberry trees um, one of them still has all its leaves i don't i think they haven't found that one yet and uh, that's a good one because that's a female. That's the one that's going to produce the uh, berries. And uh, the others still have life in them. There's just something that's eaten all the leaves off of them. And I think the reason they're not getting to the leaves on that other one is because they're climbing up the little stakes that I had to tie them for the, for the wind so the wind wouldn't blow over the sapling. And uh, I have plastic tape going from the wood to the tree. And they're just walking across the plastic tree tape it could get to the tree all the others i took the tapes off so they can't do that too but this one right here still has the tapes on it so i'm going to cut those off tomorrow all right everybody thanks for joining me on this episode any questions or comments you know where those go down below right below where you give me a thumbs up you know you see that little thumbs up like that just click on that please and uh then leave your comments right below that I appreciate that, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This is G-Bear, signing off.